This video is a continuation of the DIY bench power supply video. I'll link that video in the description. You can go and watch it if you haven't already. If you guys had noticed, uh, the power supply was pretty much empty on the inside at the end of the previous video. Since then it has been working quite well, but it's time for the upgrade. In this video I'll be adding a small power distribution board for all the electronic circuits which are yet to go in there and I'll finally install the buck boost converter for variable voltage and also attach it to the voltmeter ammeter unit that was installed in the last video. I cut out a small cardboard piece and attached it to the bottom of the power supply like a small platform. Let's start with the power distribution board. This is just a power splitter. It takes in 12 volts and 5 volts on these separate dual female headers and distributes it to the other devices in a neat and manageable way. For this board I used a small PCB and these dual headers. I soldered them to the PCB and shorted all the terminals in parallel. Well that should be it right? Not quite. All the wires which need to be plugged into the female headers need to be attached with the male pins individually. I also went ahead and added the heatshrink tubing to individual wires. Shorts inside the power supply is a no-no and can cause fires or shut down your power supply. Don't be lazy, use the heatshrink tubes. Now let's get to the buck boost converter. It is the best of both worlds. Like the buck converter, it can take in a higher DC voltage and step it down and also boost it up to a higher voltage uh, like a boost converter. It can do both the functionality from the same integrated circuit. It has dedicated inductors for the boost and buck parts and all this can be controlled by a single potentiometer. Another important thing about these converters is that the maximum power and current handling capacity. This one in particular can handle up to 3 amps of current on the input and the output and about 20 watts of power. For the best buck and boost use cases, I suggest the input voltage to be greater than 10 volts. In this case, I am using 12 volts as the input. On testing the circuit, the minimum voltage uh, was about 1.27 volts and the maximum voltage was around 40 volts. Pretty good, eh? Next, I desoldered the built in 10 kilo ohm potentiometer using some solder wick. I attached some new wires and a new 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. Now the voltage can be controlled from the front panel. Next, I attached the potentiometer to the front panel and also added a switch to turn on and off the variable voltage power supply. Made all the connections to the ammeter and voltmeter unit, uh, glued down the power distribution board using hot glue and also stuck the boost converter to the base of the power supply. This variable voltage control will help a lot in testing and debugging. And of course, now I can blow stuff up. There will be a couple more power supply update videos. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching guys. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you loved it.